win, uh, keeping the ball rolling for Canada. We've had some successful results in recent weeks. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, even if I moved to Florida for maybe the last two years, I, I'm still, you know, representing my country. So I'm very happy to represent Canada tonight, and hopefully I'm gonna, I can fight soon uh, in Canada. How did the fight go in relative to your expectations and the game plan you had coming in? We knew that, uh, you know, Julian was to be, you know, uh, coming forward, durable, uh, strong guy, but, you know, uh, I was getting prepared just to be myself, uh, fight hard, just who I am, power bar, more to fight goals, more I'm dangerous, so this is exactly what type of fight that I can bring every time. It was a rough start for you in the UFC, but it seems like you know in recent fights you're starting to catch your stride a little bit. Has there been you know something particular, whether it's a change in mindset or the move to Florida? What, what has it been? Yeah, I think for the last two years, you know, I changed a lot of things in my life. Uh, you know, I met a new girl. I moved to Florida, and I just you know I like to explore some new things and. I feel like I'm more mature right now uh, as a fighter, as a human being. So yeah, I'm just looking forward right now. You know, I'm 33. I feel like I'm in my prime. So I just want to keep the ball rolling. Perfect world. What's next for you? Uh, you know, I like to stay active. You know, uh, for the last two or three years, uh, I think that I fought three times a year. So we'll see. It depends if you know UFC come back to Canada soon or. They know they can, they can call me anytime for a last minute fight. I'm always in shape. Uh, I train with the best in South Florida, so we'll see. Uh, the broadcast seemed to think it looked like he stung you maybe momentarily early because you were running, rushing forward, uh, but then you kind of pushed back a little bit. Did he clip you at all? Maybe stung you momentarily? Uh, yeah, he surprised me uh, because I feel like, you know, sometimes I get too excited when I. Uh, not. I like to brawl, but I have to be smart when, when it's the good time, you know, because as soon as I taste the blood, I feel like I need to go for the kill, but we have 15 minutes to work, so I need to keep my composure and just pick my shots, and when the time comes, just just blast him. So it, this is exactly what I what I did in the second round. Uh, my coach just told me during the, the between the rounds, just, okay, now pick up the pace and do your things. The broadcast was also mentioning his cardio and his his stamina and durability, and then I, I don't remember which one, but then they said, well, you yourself, like, that's what you thrive in. Like, your style of, and his style would probably favor you. Do you think fighters and maybe pundits are overlooking your stamina and your durability in there? Man, this, I think this is my identity, you know. The uh, power bar is my nickname, but this is who I am. I work hard. Um, I'm not the biggest middleweight, but I'm always in shape. Um, I'm always willing to fight hard. And even if we, we have to go to the ground in the deep waters, I'm always willing to, I'll never quit. You know, even if I, in my last fight I was injured, I fought through the third round and he had to put me asleep. So I don't know if they, they're going to be surprised for sure, because I'm just going to be getting better uh, from now. Mark andre over here. Hi, brother. Yeah, how's it going? Uh, you mentioned to me uh, pre-fight, Gregory Rodriguez obviously fought Julian as well. I know you train with him. How much did that help uh, this camp, getting to fight a guy who your teammate had already defeated? Oh, this was a big advantage, you know, and also I started training with uh, the uh, Daniel Mendez. is the same trainer as uh, Gregory. So we had uh, almost uh, all the game plan against him. So we just, we adjust with my style and just the way that I fight, and I feel like, you know, uh, but tonight, sometimes it's, it's, it's a good thing just to follow the game plan, but I feel like tonight I fought exactly who I am as a, you know, the power bar, Mark andre Berrio, just, you know, nothing pretty, reckless, and just, you know, who I am. Was there anything about Julian that surprised you in the fight? Yeah, actually, he did pretty good in the clinch, you know, because this is my bread and butter, you know, as soon as I, I get close and I, I do my things in the dirty boxing, usually the people don't, you know, the, don't follow, uh, follow me hard uh, in the clinch, but he, he surprised me in the clinch for sure. But in the second round, I felt like he was slowing down pretty much, so I just pick up the pace.
I know uh, Florida is uh, home for you right now, but when are you going back to Quebec and going to see your family and all that? I'm sure after a big win like this, you probably want to go back pretty soon. Yeah, so right now, just uh, as I said, uh, I want to take good time off. Not a long time, but just a good time because it's been more than two years that I haven't seen my, my mother in Canada. So for sure this summer, I want to go back, train with my, my, my coaches, um, all my old team, and just getting better, enjoy life, and looking forward to the next step. And the UFC's got to come back to Montreal, right? What, what would uh, Mark? I was at your fight in TKO. Place was going nuts when you were there. Uh, t tell a little bit about uh, what it would mean to have a card in Montreal again. Ah oh, man, the, you know I remember the old times in TKO. I fought in Quebec City main event. I fought in the Bell Center in Montreal main event also. So yeah, uh, hopefully yeah, they're gonna come back soon and I can be in that card with all the you know all the Canadian and I think we deserve it.